Welcome to another On Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, you're going to be learning about acceleration. Now, don't get all worried and jumping out the window because you slept in most of your mathematics classes in high school. It's okay. I'm here to help you. What you have here is uh, an object. I'm, I call this a ball. And it's moving back and forth. And as you hold on to one key, it accelerates. It gains speed. So we're going to learn how to do this. There's a lot of games that use this, and this is a very useful thing to know. So let's get into it. I've created two layers. One is my ActionScript 3 layer, and one is my Content layer. And, of course, lock them both and put all the actions in your ActionScript layer. And make sure you name your object, your movie clip. I named mine Ball. Because we're going to have a ball. For the code, it's not exactly a bare bones structure, but I'm not just going to leave you out to see. I'm here to help you out to understand what is going on in this code. The first line of code is var key key object equals new key object stage. If you've been watching my previous tutorials, then you know what this is. This is how we access the key object class that we downloaded from Synocular.com. If you don't know what's going on right now as far as this line of code goes go to my previous tutorial character animation and movement where you learn about the key object because without this we won't be able to get user interaction so the next line of code is a variable speed and this speed is a number as you can tell and we set it to zero for our stage we set an add event listener event enter frame and the function that we want to use is on enter so every time uh, it enters a frame, this code inside this function that I've written here will run. Let's examine the code inside of the function. The first line of code that we have, if ball x is greater than 520, then you want the speed to multiply by 1 and get assigned to speed, and we set the ball x back to 520. Well, for this right here, What's happening is when the ball is moving, we need to create some boundaries. So these two if statements are the boundaries. And where do I get this number from? Ball.x is greater than 520. Not, why not 550 or 1,000? Well, this has to do with the stage. The stage is 550. But I figure because of the ball's width, I'm going to subtract pixels so I make sure it doesn't go off stage. We wanted to basically bump. The registration of my ball is in the center. The next line right here is important because when the ball goes off to the edge of the stage we want it to bounce back. So what happens the speed is multiplied by negative one sending it in the opposite direction and to make sure our ball doesn't go past that 520 we make sure we set the ball's X to the 520. Now this will change depending on the size of your stage and we go down here and we do the same thing but instead of 0 it's 20 because we remember the ball's width and it's the same jazz now for the user interaction which everybody's here for we're saying if the key is down and this has to do with the key object class if you haven't downloaded and know how to use it then go to my previous tutorials and you'll learn how to do so what this statement is is key dot is down key dot left What's happening is we're saying if the user is pressing down the left key, we want to subtract 4 from it constantly. So it just builds up and builds up. The next line is for the right, and it does the opposite. It adds 4 constantly. So with that in mind, we would think that, hey, we just need to add the speed to the direction or the x-axis of our ball. But hold on there. Not so fast. What we want to create is a cap because if we just keep on adding forward to it it's just going to continue to build up speed until it just f goes flying off stage so what we want to do is type some statements to control the speed of our speed or how fast our speed whatever you know what I'm saying and those two statements are if speed is greater than 20 we want to set it back to 20 and you can copy and paste and just change a few values. Like if speed is less than negative 20, then speed is equivalent to 20. So if it ever goes to 22 or 24, it will go back to 20. 
so that way we control the speed. Last but not least, now we need to connect the speed to the x-axis of our ball. So it's ball dot x plus equal speed. Now we're able to accelerate. Look at that. That wasn't so hard. And now you got this cool effect going on. And it wasn't that many lines of code. And you got something really awesome going on. Thanks for watching this on Enter Flash tutorial. If you like these tutorials, don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. Also, go to my website on enterflash.com where you'll be able to get more tutorials. You have some questions or some concerns? Well, you can write to me at questions at onenterflash.com. Don't worry, it'll show you at the end of the video, so stay tuned.